They may call Yankee Stadium the house that Ruth built, but it's the Padres' Jim Laritz who feels at home. Uh, this, I was pretty well received here, and uh, I feel pretty safe going out in this town. And like I said, we, I have a lot, of, a lot of close friends here and a lot of good memories. And uh, even though I'm coming back as the enemy this time as far as baseball goes, off the field, you know, things are still the same. The Padres took their batting practice for about an hour and a half this afternoon. And while they knocked the ball all over the park today, they don't expect to be a big hit with the New York fans tomorrow. It's the Bronx Zoo. They don't call it that for, for nothing. It's, it's crazy. It's loud. And you see things here you'll never see in any other ballpark. And you just got to take it for what it's worth and not get caught up in all the stuff that's going on around you and just try to concentrate on the game. Few people outside San Diego are painting a picture of success for the Padres in this World Series, but New York manager Joe Torre knows that doesn't mean much. His underdog Yankees beat Atlanta back in 1996, and he knows the Padres are better than most people realize. You know, we know the Padres are a very good club. I think it's a good match. Uh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good World Series uh, because again, they, they're playing with a lot of confidence. They overcame a lot of. Uh, you know, a lot of things to, to, to be here. That confidence is keeping the Padres loose, at least for now. But at the start of game one tomorrow, there will be a few butterflies in the stomach. I'm sure we'll be a little nervous tomorrow night, but right now it's practice and uh, we're still enjoying what we accomplished uh, yesterday or two days ago. And, um, you know, I think we have a lot of confidence that we can uh, continue to be successful the rest of this year and, uh, and beat the Yankees. <laughs> Few people thought the Padres would survive the stretch run to the World Series. Like I said, we, we weren't supposed to beat the Astros, we weren't supposed to beat the Braves, and now we're not supposed to beat the Yankees, and we kind of like that. And uh, like I said, I, I, I think we feel pretty comfortable. We've got Kevin Brown going the first game. We've got all our, our, our guns lined up, as you can say, and I think we're going to be ready. The Padres haven't been to the Fall Classic in 14 years, but now that the drought's over, they plan to soak up every minute of the experience. The tough part's over, I believe. The tough part's over. You come here, enjoy yourself, have fun, play baseball. But don't think that means this team's satisfied with just getting to the World Series. Just ask Tony Gwynn. These guys are here to win it all. One of my goals is going to be fulfilled tomorrow, and it's in the biggest stage and the biggest game. And, uh, God, you just hope that, God, I can contribute and do something, you know. So the team's not clowning around, although today they did work out for an hour and a half around a media circus that included a reporter from MTV. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit too old for MTV, but uh, I would imagine my daughters would love to see me on that. I love San Diego. San Diego is a fabulous town. I spent a lot of great time there. It was awesome. That Grand Slam took us home. We're down to the promised land. Yankees in four. Outstanding. Outstanding. So far, outstanding. I thought it was the greatest game I've ever seen. Incredible. It was a proud moment. And we've been beleaguered, so we needed that. It was a great game. Unbelievable, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Seven runs in one inning. Steinbrenner is a winner. <laughs> How many games? How many games? Uh, five. In five. Thank you. Thank you. five. Tell us a little about your Ranger with the Mayor of San Diego. Well, I'm going to go see the mayor of San Diego now. You know, I haven't won yet, but we got off to a good start. I get a surfboard, which is very good for me because I'm a big surfer. And then I get a swim, tr swim trunk so that I can wear something while I'm surfing. It's going to be quick. Four or five games, it's over. How long does it take you to get in game phase? Uh, four hours. Four hours of makeup? Hours. I got to wait for the white to dry, then I got to put the rest of the colors. Well, I was trying to get a fastball down and away and left it out over the plate and he hit. And, and that, was, that pitch was horrible. I mean, that, that's the, obviously the, the big pitch of the game. And bottom line, I didn't do my job tonight. It really cost us game. How about as far as location? Where were you trying to put that ball and how far away was it from where you wanted it? The fall behind is somebody like him, too. Oh, you know, he's looking to drive the ball like he did and he just did his job. I just didn't do mine tonight. It's uh, called bad relief. <laughs> Bottom line, it's just bad relief. Uh, the guys haven't, haven't gotten the job done. The Padres may be down, but they are certainly not out, and they know it. 
I mean, the bottom line is we lost the game. Uh, it's one game. You know, we come out tomorrow and win, we leave here one and one, or we're setting pretty. So, uh, you know, we just got to come out and do battle tomorrow and see what happens. Tonight didn't happen for us, but you guys come back out tomorrow and do the job, you know, we'll be right back where we want to be. You know, it's it's going to be a tough series, and the last thing we can do is dwell on this loss right now. Tomorrow night, the Padres will start Andy Ashby in game two. So we asked him if he feels more pressure now that the Padres have lost the first game. No, I mean, I just got to go out and pitch my game. I mean, you know, um, you know, you can't put out of pressure on yourself. I mean, it's the World Series. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on everybody, but, you know, I just got to go out and think of it, you know, one pitch at a time, one out at a time, do what I have to do to keep it close. I think the main thing is just uh, not being able to get in a rhythm and, and get a pace working where you can start feeling like you're into the game. I mean, it was like a, a constant battle trying to get three outs in one inning without having to, you know, pitch with guys on base. The Padres just couldn't do the little things tonight. Ken Caminiti made an error at third in the first inning. Greg Vaughn came up with the bases loaded later in the game and popped out. Yeah, I made an error. It's not the, it's not the first time I made and it's not going to be the last. So, um, you just try and pick yourself up if something like that happens. And it happened in the first inning, you know. So, uh, got pretty ugly after that. I, I felt I took good swings all day. It was just a matter of just not, not getting them. You know, I got them yesterday, and today I didn't get them. They say it's a game of inches. And uh, I was a couple inches off a little bit today. On the other side of the field, the Yankees were definitely on today. It seemed like they could do nothing wrong. They got, they got their two out hits, and I tell you what, they, the ground balls, you know, they hit some balls hard, but when they didn't hit it hard, they had eyes on them, and, you know, sometimes it's, uh, you know, it's the ball has, has to bounce your way, and it, I think at times it did for them tonight.